Greetings, family, and welcome to another Dr. Mumbi Spiritual Show, although this actually could also be an Ask Dr. Mumbi, because I get so many questions about 5D reality. What does it mean to be in 5D? How will I feel when I'm in 5D? How do I know if I'm in 5D? And so, uh, so, <laughs> and so I thought I'd go into, I, I was thinking one per episode, because they're kind of, each are kind of deep, but we'll see how it flows, of doing five things that will confirm to you that you are in 5D. And the first one, I think the first thing that you realize when you hit 5D is that you're not here to be a savior to anyone. Even that thing of like how we came here and we felt we had a certain destiny where we were supposed to do this or supposed to do that or, you know, here to help Mama Earth and all this stuff. What I found is that when I hit 5D, all of those things fell away. And I felt like even those were somehow traps of the, you know, of the higher mind, thinking that you have to come here to save humanity or you have to come here to, you know, um, to save Mama Earth or anything like that. It has not, that is not the reason why we came. And you'll only over in and understand this if you're in 5D reality. And so this will just be a confirmation. But if this is sounding like alien to you, then you're not quite there yet because the savior complex has got to go. We're not here to be the saviors of anybody, but what we are here to be is each other's cheerleader. And some of us will be given a global stage where we can be a global cheerleader. Some of us will be given a national stage where we can be a national, you know, a national cheerleader, a national leader in terms of maybe some of us have got, come in with gifts of government, spiritual governance. Maybe some of us were spiritual judges or are spiritual judges in the worlds where we came from. But as chosen ones, one of the greatest higher level traps that we were in was thinking that we are here to save the world. Just by you being here, family, just by you being born, you saved whatever world was there was to be saved. Just by you existing, you have a, either a positive or a negative impact on the world. So the more positive you are, the more high vibes you are, happy you are, joyful, at peace, in a Zen place, just vibing with life, the more you're there, the more you, you so-called save the world, but the more you have a massive impact. But if there's anything that you are here to share, like that is how we're saving the world, by being here, by working through our stuff, by releasing, some of us are releasing ancestral issues where we were called in as one of the oldest ancestors of our bloodlines to kind of rebalance the bloodline. Some of you are seriously on a reconnaissance mission, sent from other galaxies to see how this, this world went wrong, how this world fell out of balance so that it doesn't happen where we're from. So it's like we're here to collect the vaccine, the mental and spiritual vaccine, the immunization that we can take back to our planets and it will enter the, you know, the library of those planets, stories for other days. If this is sounding alien to you, this is not your message, family. And just feel free to, you know, I get so few of those though, so I'm not even gonna focus on that. But family, we are not here to save anyone. We're not even here to save the world. We're here to transform ourselves into an even higher mind being by being able to really understand this thing they call duality, this thing they call good and evil, this thing they call male and female, all these, you're this or you're that, when we're all of it at once. And the next thing I'm gonna talk about, family, is how you must embrace your dark side. You're here to be both good and bad. You're, you know the way they say you're a villain in somebody's story. But those are stories for the next show. So this is a, just a short series I'm doing for those who are already in 5D to just confirm to you that you're there. One of the first things that will fall away is the savior complex. You're not here to save anyone. And if you go even further, even you do not need saving. You just need a mental readjustment.
We're not here to save the world, but we're here to be cheerleaders to humanity, to the eternal ones, to the original ones, to the ancient ones that have somehow gotten trapped in this body and have actually started to think they're this body. We can't save them from that situation, but we can cheer them on. We can be an example. And that is why we, if we allow it in our lives, are about to live the most magnificent, the, the highest, bestest level of our wildest dreams. So you can be an inspiration to everyone who is connected to you through mind, through knowing your story, through having gone to school with you. You are about to witness and experience perpetual victories because all we wanted was that heaven heaven on earth, to live our greatest dream. And that is, that is it, really. And in doing that, we serve as an example for people to correct their own minds or to follow the path we have followed, not by trying to leech onto us or trying to siphon our energy, not in a form of fear, in a form of panic, but in a form of inspiration, where I can also do that. I can also change my life. Because no one is going to change anybody's life by trying to get in their energy and do anything. It's only by inspiring, by cheering you on, by teaching you. That's why this world, even when they talk about saviors and messiahs, what it talks about is like saving the group consciousness, realigning the group consciousness, re-elevating the group consciousness. That's why uh, the, those with incredible power taught, healed as an example of healing, died and resurrected themselves to show that death was not real. And I mean, they weren't even in this reality for long. This kind, this kind of mental thing is, it's been very short, but it's been so negatively intense that it seems like it's gone on for thousands of years. It hasn't. But let's just say that for now. The first sign, family, that you are in 5D is you know that you're not here to save anyone, but only to cheer them up and maybe to find your soul group family and all those other things. We can go deeper into this, but that's one of the first things that you know you've landed in the right place. Special shout out to everyone that supports us on Patreon. If you'd like to see the other signs of you being in 5D, definitely consider supporting us. We'll release them almost as soon as we've recorded them. And make sure you're subscribed to both the Dr. Mumbi Spiritual Show and the Dr. Mumbi Show family. Tuko, pamoja. Oh,